Hi, this is Carrie from Almost Babies by Carrie. Um, today we're going to go over um, start a new tutorial that I'm trying. It's going to be more of a faster pace than my normal, you know, long detailed tutorials. Um, all the details will still be in the tutorial, but we're trying to condense it because we're going to use this tutorial for a class. That's right, we're going to use it for a class. Excited! Okay, so I've already mixed up the mix of the baby flesh. We're going to start off with the darker mix. We're going to skip right through the, the lighter stages where we build it, where I slowly build up. We're going to get this one condensed for a, qu a qu quick class to show people how to mix and make a baby. Um, this is going to be an AA baby, um, either light skin or you can continue to build your layers with this adding the more layers of the flesh. The more layers you add, the darker she'll get. Um, we're going to we got the mix mixed up. I've got a wide brush. I like to apply my washes with a wide brush. Um, I got my little brush for getting in the small creases that when you, you want to make sure you get every crease. You don't want to leave any paint pulled in the crease or it will leave you like muddy, dirty looking creases. And then I've got my little sponge. Um, whatever sponge you like to use, you can use a regular uh, wedges or you can use the newer little uh, sponges that they have. Uh, any beauty supply place carries these. Walgreens, uh, CVS Pharmacy. Okay. Let's get busy. Make sure every time you dip your brush in your paint, you stir. Stir, stir, stir. Because the Genesis Heat Set paints will settle to the bottom of the bowl. Um, I've got my, my mix up with Gamma Saw and linseed oil to help so that your baby doesn't get chalky. Um, the mix is in a tutorial, so don't worry about it. Right now, we'll need look at the tutorial. You'll see exactly what you'll need to mix up this mix. You're going to apply it all over the, the limb. You do <clears throat> one limb at a time so that you do, you can get you can pound, apply it and pounce. That way, <clears throat> you don't have any drying and muddiness between pouncing it off. But um, let me then let's get started. Okay, when I st I stir and I always squeeze off to the side that way you get rid of all the excess then you just apply it and get in all the little ear creases I always pick up more paint squeeze apply and just brush it right on don't worry about trying to get it evenly. It's just make sure it's all covered. Um, you're going to even it out when you pounce it. And when I say pounce, you want to pounce it. And I will show you how to do that, how I do that too. get in those ears. Um, you don't want to have a baby that's got, you know, no paint in the ears. You want to try to avoid um, the first layer, go ahead and do the palms and soles of your feet, um, the hands, but and, but avoid the lips. The lips you want a, a light base the color that the kit came as. That way you can pick beetles to get whatever color lips you want to make versus trying to paint over brown and trying to get a pretty lip color is a little bit harder. But don't stress about it. You you if you get brown on your lips, it's not gonna, you know, make or break the baby. Um, getting it on the edge is okay because usually you want your edges of the lip darker anyways. So see I even got some on then. So it's but it's not gonna kill it. <laughs> baby will live and you will have a gorgeous baby when you're done. But make sure you get up in that nose too. We don't want any white nostrils. You want that nostril to be shaded by the time we're done. Alright. See she's covered. It's real runny. Do you see my, my mix is always runny? Okay, you just make sure you come in here. I usually go by the back of the head. This first layer might be a little uneven looking, depending on how well you pound that baby in. But by the time you get to like the second or the third layer, the skin tone will even out and you won't have any blotches. 
but you pounce, you work that paint in, and you're gonna leave little lines, so you, you don't want those lines, like little swirls, whatever your wedge is causing. Make sure you pounce that excess paint off. That's where you, if you don't do that, you will get a muddy baby. People would be like, my baby's uneven, what, what am I doing wrong? You're not pouncing right. You've got to pounce that, pounce that paint in. You don't want to leave those little swirly lines, and, and, and especially if you're using a wedge, you'll have line, literally lines in your kit. Remember to dry that, pounce that sponge back out on the, on the paper towel. You can already see the difference in this kit of the kit change. Go back over, make sure you pounce that sponge. I stress to get that excess paint off that sponge. You come in here and make sure you've got rid of all those little swirls and lines and excess paint off of there. You don't want that on there. You want your paint well blended, that way, you've got yourself a, a nice skin tone when you're done. And you'll be have a beautiful baby. You know the key to this is patience. Um, people want to see instant results. Sometimes you won't see an instant result, depending on how light your kit starts off with. The Pell kits, you might have to do two or three layers, sometimes ten, depending on how thin your how thick your uh, mix is. Come back in here with your brush. Remember to pounce those creases out. You don't want any paint pulled in those creases. Around the nose, inside the nose, around that lip, under that lip. Anywhere you have a crease, pounce it out. Come back in with your sponge. Go back over it. Because when you pounce it with a brush, it sometimes will leave little, little, you know, little gelled areas where you want to make sure you've got the excess paint gone. You do not want any paint pulled because it will, when you bake it, it will still be there. <laughs> See how it pulls in the, in the creases? You want to get that out. That's why you don't want to apply this to all the limbs because at one time, because while you're applying to one limb, you're it's drying on the other limb. So you want to do one limb at a time as you work the baby. I mean, don't do like one part and then go all the all the steps like different colors on. You want to work on the same color on all the limbs so you have it even consistency throughout the whole baby. I mean, some people will work on the head and come back and do the, the arms and legs another time. I don't do it that way because sometimes if you do that way, your head will be a different shade than your limbs. You want to do everything at the same time. That way you don't have any inconsistencies in the color of the skin tone. Get those little ear creases. And just pounce away. Get the little excess. Sometimes your brush gets a little too wet. Go in your and clean that off too. That way, it's keep it as dry as possible. Come back in. Make sure any little little the consistencies in the paint's you know pounced in. And don't forget you want to get behind. You know, make sure you get behind those ears because sometimes it pull the paint will pull behind those ears too. And we don't want like I said paint pulled up anywhere because then it'll look like a dirty crease. And you got some right here. Just pounce it in. Sometimes the name on the, on the kits back in the back, you want to kind of get going to the letters too. You don't want to have that pulled up either. That way, you, it looks kind of like it'll 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 start gathering up real fast so you don't get that paint out of there. And that's all you do. Go in here, get, make sure there's nothing in the crease mouth. All right. You can already see. Let me pull this up this way. The difference in this too between the head and the leg. All right, I'm going to continue on with the rest of the limbs, and then I'll 
take pictures for the tutorial that way you can see as I build this baby but that's all you do but you can see that she doesn't have all the paint is evenly blended in there's no splotchiness and that's it and if you, if you, if you still have any more splotches just take your brush make sure you pounce all the excess paint off of it because it, it grabs the paint and go in here and just tap 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 and if you see the part need to be blended better blend it Thank you.